What's popping off, y'all? This is the Dr. Green Thumb show right here on, uh, actually, the Dr. Green Thumb podcast right here on YouTube, yeah. Facebook, and everywhere the fuck else. I'm uh, Dr. Green Thumb, a.k.a. Be Real with C- minus and E-Zone. What's up? We back. We back. And uh, we're in studio because it's it, it times are too serious for us to do what we were doing uh, on Zoom. I did think we had to jump in the studio yeah. together. And we've been all quarantined up. So we, you know, we know where each other have been and all that stuff. Some of us have been tested too. Yeah. And so, you know, we're, we're in a field of trust and safety here. So True we that. feel like we can come together and talk, but most especially because of what's going on around the country right now, you know, there's, there's riots, looting, um, protest, police brutality, and it's just, it's, it's unraveling around the country because there's so much division. Yeah. And something has to happen where we're some sort of voice of leadership or somewhere, you know, that, that comes and, and adds some calm to what's fucking going on, yeah. you know, but first and foremost, rest in peace and prayers to the family of, of George Floyd. Absolutely. You know, the death of, of, of homie that, that, uh, Resparked the fire and tension of of everyone who has witnessed police brutality through the years, and seen no justice served on a lot of those cases where people have died at the hands of police brutality. Um, people just have had enough. Yeah, and this is what we're seeing everywhere. It's not just in one particular place in the United States. It's 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 practically everywhere. People are are standing up. And making their voices be heard, saying we're tired of this shit. Change it. Yeah, there is still racism in 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 the in the justice system. Uh, uh, you know, it's obvious. And the the training that some of these police officers have, and I think with some of uh, the lack of um, background checking on who you hire as a police officer and the psychological evaluation, you know. You're seeing the type of people that they're hiring. Yeah. And uh, I, I think it needs a change. A lot of people feel it needs a change, and it, you could see that something needs to change. Yeah, this is, I think this is, it, feel, it just feels different. We, you know, we were all around for the 92 riots. Right. And this just, and we all felt what that was. But this just feels... 100% different. And this is a part of that. Yes, this it, is a it, continuation it, of it. This is a continuation of that. Because it didn't stop <clears throat> after that happened. No. Nah. Yeah. Nothing changed. You would think that it, it would have changed, but it didn't change. Because there was no networks, no TV networks, no cable networks of any kind willing to talk about it. Yeah. They were always riding the line of deny and and you know protect the 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 badge yeah you know up until phones you know had cameras and 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 recording within them you did not see this you only heard about it and it was you know it, rarely did you hear about it unless a news station was brave enough to pick up that story you know you would not hear about it but now technology has brought everybody up to speed on what the fuck people have been talking about and what they've been pissed about for so many years. You could see it, and there's no deny it. There's no way to fucking spin some of this. Yeah, hey, listen, some of us that have been uh, beaten up or brutalized at the hands of the police, some of us, you know, we knew what we were doing when it happened, so you accept that. But there's other times that, you know, innocent people that weren't gangsters, that weren't drug dealers, that weren't any of that shit, but got profiled as those just because of their color, have gotten beaten and brutalized and, and a lot of the times killed, and no justice is served on the hands of their killers with the badge. And this is, like you said, a continuation. You know, Rodney King, fortunately for him, he didn't die at the hands of of the police, but he got beaten brutally and we all saw that. And that's because, you know, 
the the TV that was fo- the 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 TV station that was following that chase happened to catch that. We would not have seen it had they cut the camera. Yep. Right. Absolutely. So so now people are willing to put themselves on the line. People are no longer afraid of the retaliation because listen, it's something we live with. All right, you know we might get fucked with just riding down the street or walking down the street anything if we look a certain way so what fear should i have you know what i'm gonna tape these motherfuckers every time they do some shit Mm -hmm. and now you have that reality so you cannot you know um you can't um pretty much make an excuse or or deny that it's happening because we see it and everybody is is ready to accept it because it's validation for what everybody has felt and thought for such a long time Absolutely. This is, I'm, yeah, it's, to watch it all unfold the way it's unfolded in the last week has been incredible. Now, I want to say first and foremost, I'm talking about the protesters and that, that angst and that, that frustration and that tension. Well, you know, with the looting and all that shit that's going on, that, all that extra shit, that's something that's totally different. And unnecessary. Yes. You know that 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 is something totally different. That there, there are people that in the beginning, yeah, they they were pissed off and they wanted to burn shit down. But then there's other people that are looking out for something different, and they're taking advantage of that and jumping in with with the protesters, diluting the message. You know, using the protest group as a shield to go do all this fucking crazy shit. Yeah. You know, because realistically. If you were really protesting and and wanting to burn shit down, you would go to the source of which, right? Which yep. is the. I ain't even gonna say that because I I ain't trying to, to um, you know, spark anything in that regard. But you would not just be going night to night, looting and pillaging and taking the shit and then reselling it. <laughs> you just yeah, right. Do that. But uh, but look, again, there's there's a, f- a few different groups within the one. Right there's the people that that are there for George Floyd and the rest, you know, protesting for them and and you know calling for fairness and and justice and all that shit. And then there's the ones that are taking advantage of that movement, you know. And some of some of the people within that, yeah, they might they might be desperate because the the job losses are high right now because of the pandemic and motherfuckers are broke and they don't have anything. So frustration and desperation sets in, sets in. You might go and take a couple things, but I you know, I don't think those people would be on a night to night basis on the pillage and organized at that like that, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy to see how how all that shit is going on right now and it's going to be interesting to see how and how they put out the fire and who puts out the fire. It's happening right now. Yeah, I, from what, you know, I live in downtown. Yeah, you live in, in the <laughs> shit zone right now. I, I live in the historic core. So if anyone's listening, watching, look that up. And that's pretty much right where all this shit has been happening. And I've seen a lot, dude. Yeah. I've seen some shit that has made me like, oh, shit. Like, one of the, one of, like from Friday night on, it was pretty much established that there's the protesters and there's the, the looters. Right. Because as the protesters are still protesting, they're not trying to go in and grab shit. No. They're trying to get the message heard. Right. Because that's what's important. That's what's important. The looters are just trying to go and like throw window, you know, through bricks and rocks through windows to start shit to entice everyone to do it, to, right. to follow suit. And break, I've seen that with my own two eyes. Break the piñata. Yeah. And so, like, the, you know, they got my building. A, a, a liquor store, I mean, a convenience store that's right down there. And it's, everyone in the building loves this store. I mean, they're they're part of our community. It's like a, a convenience store? Convenience store, yeah. <clears throat> like, you know, and so they went and threw a brick. Threw the, and then certain people started trying to go and grab shit. But then the residents from my building stood in front of the liquor store. I mean, stood in front of the store and were like, nah, homie, you ain't getting this. This is our shit. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that they, they're saying that there's, a bunch of different groups hiding themselves along with with the protest group and you see footage of these motherfuckers that 
are like purposefully instigating shit and then now getting called out by the actual protesters like, hey man, we don't do this shit. Yeah. Yep. What the fuck are y'all doing? Like the yeah. people making this, making bricks out of the sidewalks. Like there's a video a video he yeah. was like with a hammer just trying to make rocks out of breaking down the pavement. And then people are like, dude, we're all here protesting in front of the cops and you're trying to make shit to break the window. So they all got him and handed him over to the cops and said he's not a he's not a protester. This is a, yeah, yeah, a yeah, looter. That, that's that's the shit that you're seeing. It's it's because, you know, once this started, it brought out all these motherfuckers. Yep. And you know, being that we're all wearing masks right now because of the pandemic, we can very much blend in. And that's what they're trying to do. I mean, there was so much footage of, of motherfuckers that were like instigators that weren't actually a part of the protest group breaking shit so that it would make other people react. And, and you know, if you're desperate and you don't have anything and all of a sudden everybody's going, you're going to go too. Yep. And that's that's sort of what happens. Now, there's other motherfuckers that are purposefully going and doing that. Obviously, we know that. We've seen that. Like, they're organized and shit like that. But there's other motherfuckers that, that are in a different situation. They're desperate. They need shit. They're pissed off. And you can understand that. You know? I definitely can. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. But, you know, the, the you know, <laughs> with, with what's going on, man, it's like... Who the fuck is going to step up and be the one to put out the fire? Because it, it's clearly not Mr. 45 up there. 45 King up there uh, is not, you know. Now he's, 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 he's in hiding, a bunker. He's in a bunker hiding, tweeting. <laughs> the motherfucker is, yo, he's hiding in a bunker because the protest got way too close to hit where he's at. Yeah. But, yeah, tough guy. Su- uh, a hey, leader, if I've ever leader. <laughs> I wonder how. Yeah, just people who voted him in. I'm just like, how do you feel right now? Yeah. I just you know, and that's not trying to offend anybody. It's just like, hey, I want to ask you, like, how do you feel right For now? Real. Yeah. Well, you know, some some people, you know, will say he's doing great, even though, even the, though, even though the majority of people in the world would beg to differ. Um, I don't, I don't like politics. I never tried to get into them, you know what I'm saying? Um, but through groups like Prophets of Rage and even through some Cypress songs, you know, we've voiced an opinion (laughs) here and there. (laughs) You certainly have. Um, I don't trust any politicians, to be honest with you. I don't care what side they're on. They're not really there for the people. Because if that was the case, you would see a lot more of these fucking people trying to come and put these fires out even when the lead guy is not doing that yeah they're just you know letting it crash and burn because it's you know definitely on his watch you know in his (laughs) yeah (laughs) you know what i'm saying so it's like you know who the fuck is really stepping up you you just gonna let it burn because he's letting it burn with that's why I don't trust any of them. Somehow. And, and, and realistically, we're talking about this off, off air, but realistically, it seems like there is an underneath fucking war between both these sides that is like on the undercurrent. It's and it, 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 and, it's, and it's, it, it, it's visible through the words that get thrown back and forth on, on these bullshit media <laughs> channels and yeah. shit like that. And, and, and it's, it's ugly. It's fucking ugly, man, and and that's why I just never put my faith in any of the politicians. I put my faith in the people, man, the Absolutely. people to make a choice and make a decision. You know, when mm-hmm. we choose our leaders, we got to, you know, do a better job. Yeah. And and the leaders that we pick got to do a better fucking job so that they're not constantly lying to us about a fucking vote for a vote and then not do any of the shit that they say and that's the problem with politics is that's been the common theme throughout and that's why you get a bozo like this voted in because people get pissed off at the politicians and say you know what fuck this system fuck this system so much that i'm willing to put this bozo in here to shake it up right and and this is what we got out of that that frustration too yeah you know what i mean it's 100 it's 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 a fuck show now, do I have the solution for it? I wish I had. <laughs> here, here. But I know what we are living in right now ain't it. 
Nah, man. These these politicians have smoked some weed together. You know, have a smoke in. Both sides, every side, you know, and I'd, out. I'd love that. And just have a smoke out and, you know, like, chill the fuck out and go over some ideas. On how you piece this shit together. Start the conversation. Yeah. Smoke it, and start the conversation. Instead of all this back and forth bozo shit that's happening. You know what I'm saying? It that's it's that's why people, you know, fucking some some of them just are have have disconnected with politicians and politics and all that stuff. Now people are are awake again and they're like, fuck that, we're going to the polls. Yeah. But I mean it took all this bullshit for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers need to stay awake. They cannot fall asleep and, and be dormant. I yeah. really would like to see like I and it's like I'm you can't based on what's happening, I don't think it's what the sad thing about it is that, like when it comes down to voting, like there's not gonna be the same amount of people that are out here making all this fucking noise right now. It's not gonna be the same not nearly even close to half of what the people that are out there like like that. So that can that definitely contributes to the staying woke part because it's it's fuck that's the sad part. It's like everybody's awake right now if there's a riot, but you know, I was like, when it comes time to vote, to vote into like how much of the budget goes into LAPD or how much of the budget goes into schools and all this shit, none of these motherfuckers is going to be out there. A lot of them are not. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, it's the people, you know, I have friends that say, you know, they're, you know, proud to be American and everything, but do not participate in the vote, but then want to have opinions on how shit should be run in the country. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what, at this, like... We can have this. Your conversation is null and void if you're not a part of the process. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's. A, a, that is a, is the thought process is that you know people don't vote because they don't feel that their vote counts, right? And they don't feel like they're heard, so they're not going to waste their fucking time. And then other people on the other side are like, "Well, if you don't vote, why should why the fuck should we listen to you?" Right. And that's the thing. There's that that part of the fucking bridge that is missing because there is a fucking there there is commonality with those two questions. Yes. You know, why don't you feel like your voice is heard? Why do you feel like your voice is heard? Yeah. You know what I mean? Do they really do what they say they're going to do? Yeah. Right? So it's 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 constantly that that shit. But I mean, hey, listen. If 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 you are going to get into politics, do the diligence on the people that you're putting into place. I mean, unfortunately, in some of <laughs> some of our fucking, you know, some of our states, the, the 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 people weren't active to go vote, and the people that were active voted for some really, you know, shitty choices. Yeah, oh man. And even now, with you know, a lot of people disappointed, Bernie didn't make it to become the Democratic nominee. So they're like talking like, well, then we're not voting for Biden. We're going to go look for someone else to vote, or the Green Party. I'm hearing, you know, independent, you know, whoever else is the the candidate. Somebody and else they can endorse. Someone else they can endorse. But in doing that is almost for sure going to be that this dude gets another four years. Well, you know, Theoretically, right? Theoretically. Right. But you know, hey, listen, I'll tell you what, this ain't even real. This whole thing that's happening is not even about that dude. It's not, mm. even, not even about him. And, and no one should put too much focus in, 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 in that. But in the way he is handling it is fucked up. And yeah. he should be accountable for that. And you should remember that in the polls, um, you know, in November. Yes. When you, when you look for a leader. But that's, it's, 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 it, the problem never begun with him. It's nah. been before him. Nah, but he, he, he has a chance to change that. You know what I mean? Along with those, those state government leaders there, yeah. they have a chance to change it. And even if they're the first to do something drastic to, to, to make the people feel like, hey, you're heard over here. This is what we're going to do. They need they, someone needs to do that, and then the rest of these fucking states that have the same problems with officers accused of the same thing that got away with the same thing, they need to implement that same way of fucking thinking and and you know make yeah. make it so that the people feel that their fucking voices are heard and that it, and it and that it makes a fucking difference. 
Yeah. You know, and that they put an end to to, you know, this this racism in the in the law enforcement agency because it's ridiculous to say it doesn't exist. Yeah. I mean, you know, the law enforcement going back a lot of them were racist to to begin with. Oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah. it's it's something that that has been there since the beginning of of creating law enforcement. So it's it's ridiculous for them to say it's it's not there when it's been there since day one. Yeah. It's just it's it's you know obviously the police departments around the world around the country are more diverse. You have police officers of different backgrounds, different ethnicities, and stuff like that. They all wear a badge. So they've definitely opened up. But guess what? Within within that group of people, there are still some that hold those same old fucking views. They might be a part of this group, but within that group, there's another group. There's a subgroup. And they may not work with these guys that are brown and black over here. They're, they're, they all have a badge, but they don't look at them the same way. They're not going to get their back the same way as... They got I mean, their it, other guys. And, and that's the fucking problem. That's part yeah. of the problem, been a part of the problem. And unless you root that shit out, it will always be there. So you need to put these assholes on polygraph and say, hey, are you racist? Do you, do you hold any resentment or hate for this race, this yes. culture, this or that? Right. You know, along with psych evaluations and other shit like that to, to see who are you hiring? Yes. Do you have anger issues? Yes. You know I mean, what I mean? I not only you know because you don't even have to be <laughs> racist to do some dumb shit to somebody out there. You could just have anger issues, which yes. is I think a lot of the time some of these guys have that. Some yeah. of them might not be racist. Yeah, a lot of them are, but some of them might not be, and they they got anger issues. And it doesn't matter who the fuck you are. They got yeah. Napoleon syndrome. Yeah, so you know I think yeah. they need to to you know do more background checking yes. on the people they give a badge to. I 100% agree with you. I've been actually talking about that for the last, for a while now, as far as like, I think police, if we're going to redo the system, if the system, I, I do think the system does need to be redone. Yeah. And then you need to instill these new standards that we need to have every man and woman held accountable to. Right. And do the background checks, do the psychiatric evaluation, you know, and, be, I mean, it's got to be a, a super hardcore vetting, uh, you know, system or even procedure because you're going to be speaking for the city, the county, and you're going to be dealing with the people. You know what? You know what I, I think was great is that a lot of cops and and you're not seeing this this story, but it it is starting to go around how some of them have taken the knee with the people. Yes. Yep. And Bravo. and say and and then what what um what the police chief in minnesota said saying silence is complicit yeah complicity meaning that those other three guys were there they didn't say nothing they're fucking guilty too yeah and if he had his way he'd be charging them too and and i think that was that was big because it's telling other police officers that are like you know that have seen shit like that go down and that don't want to risk not having the trust of your partners out there with yeah. the badge. Because that's what happens. It's just like a gang. If I go rat you out, he's going to go tell the rest of the guys, ain't it's my fucking, my, I'm done. Right? It's the same thing with the cop. Right? Yep. If, you, if you go rat <laughs> out <laughs> one yeah. of your fucking partners, bro, you might not get some backup when a serious situation happens. And for that, they all fucking fall in line. And that's not giving no excuse, but that's the fucked up system that they're dealing with. So imagine the cops that are new to the badge and they, they are coming and actually trying to make a difference and wanting to, yeah, you know, yeah. really protect the They surf. get that end of watch treatment. And then you get that. Yeah. Imagine you, what that, that might turn you into. Imagine being like, you know, like there's ki you know, people that have from the time they were a kid, I want to be, a, I want to go be a police officer. I want to help the community. I want to be something, you know, be uh, the change, be the change in the community. And then you get all the, you train for it and you get all the way to that point. And then the shift, you know, it, the system shows you itself Yeah, and you, Oh, and you, and you can't say shit. You're in now. You're in and you can't say shit. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 like a fucked up system. They need to break it and and fix it. They they need a new system, man. You Thank know, you, man. to get some good people in there. I mean, they got good people in there now. Let's not get it wrong. They they do have some people that are fucking. I mean, just th- those folks that were like, you know, we're gonna take the knee to show our so- solidarity with these folks in this message. Yeah, you know, and and justice for George Floyd. And that was big. Instead of meeting them with the chest out and the badge out and the fucking batons and, and the rubber bullets and all that stuff, they they showed, hey, listen, we feel the same way you do now. Yeah. And uh I I think more more police departments doing that will make the people feel like, you know what? Okay. Yeah. It's it's a little bit different because they see it. Yeah. Cause I, I believe a good cop see that. And they feel like, okay, the ch- this chief over here just spoke up. Silence is complicit. Right? So it's going to be a new day after that, especially if people key in off that. Yeah. That's, that was a big thing to say because most cops don't say that. We're going to have to review. We're going to have to, do, you know, we're investigating to see, uh, you know, we might. It, We'll see if if we we're gonna pull charges up, pull them up on charges. You know, a lot of that bullshit, like not necessarily owning it. Yeah. And 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 he fucking owned it, and he fucking said it. You know, like silence is complicit. Yeah. Yes. If you know, and I'm saying it because if I don't say it, I'm a part of this problem too. And and uh, I thought that was huge, and I think there there needs to be focus on those type of stories, so that people see, hey, listen, you know, some some of them get it, maybe not all of them, and maybe they don't want to get it because obviously, like, you know, we were always we were talking, you know, there's always other agendas, right? Yep. Who man in the mix? I just I don't know. Like, I've had this whole. <clears throat> at first, I I do it. I did um. I, I do understand the whole, you know, standing up for the cause and, you know, R.I.P. George Floyd. And, you know, obviously you got to make us make make your voice be heard. But there's enough destruction that has gone down. And I personally, like as somebody who has seen what the damage, uh, you know, from 92 and it took us to 20, 2014 to recover financially from this shit. Everybody's going to be looking, you know, like they're living in fucking Bakersfield, you know, or something for the rest. You know, no offense, C-minus, but like, like it's going to be looking like we're going to we're living like in like Flint. Type shit, you know, yeah. where they have fucked up water and it's like not that great. Everybody's gonna like in LA is gonna be looking like that, and it's pretty fucked up, man. Because like it's at the same time, I'm like, can they either hurry up and fucking prosecute these motherfuckers and like give them justice, you know, like the people justice? Because like, this- that, see, that's the question, though, right? Do you think that all the looting will stop the minute they do that? No. I don't think so either. Because I, I, me personally, I don't think that, I think it's to the point where the people that are looting, they're not doing it because they want justice. They're doing it because they want free shoes. Like, who loots a Dollar Tree? Things there are a dollar. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, this is some real fucking, like, some scumbag shit. Like, no, dude. I mean, like, in downtown on Saturday night, um, I went out, a friend of mine was shooting some photos, and I, w- I was her, her backup, make sure she was cool. And I uh, saw them loot the chic shoe store on Broadway, and motherfuckers were going in and getting shoes. Some of them were do they did, like, they would grab the shoes and they lit them on fire. And yeah. then this big fire started right on the sidewalk uh, in front of that store. Then there was other people coming out. There was just, I got size 8. Who needs size 12? Hey, help me go. And just people going in and just, like, it was the most... Crazy shit. Not one person was yelling, you know, no Stop. justice, no peace. Yeah. <laughs> hey, just look down at motherfuckers' <laughs> feet out here right now. You'll know where they got oh, them from. Oh, man. No, and it's, and, and it's the, the, the... Say you got new shoes on. Uh, oh, yeah. well, okay. Okay. Yeah, and shiny over there. Look at shiny. Where'd you get them? Chic? <laughs> then the fucked up thing too. Club. There's like a there's there's a the 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 failing to realize that every time you burn down a business, like we just came out of COVID quarantine and people are needing and coming back to work in a job that they even though they may may have not evaluated it before, but they need it now more than ever. And these are people that are middle class family and under that usually work yeah. in these places. Yeah. See the, yeah. And you're taking food out of their mouths by destroying the store where they work at. You're t- you're the cost you know what I mean? It's, hey, listen, one hundred percent. Yeah. You know, let's look, burner um 
his shop on Melrose got looted. They took, you know, pretty much everything in there. Um, our boy Sherbinsky, they looted his shop right there on Fairfax. And in in the protests up in the Bay, you know, our, our Dr. Green Thumb shop got looted. They looted the fuck out of L.A. Kush, too. And they Man. looted L.A. Kush. LA like, Kush. the fuck out of it. I'm talking about the dude came in there, pistol yeah. fucking whipped everything and just broke glass and just... Yeah. Like, so, you know, it it... In times like this, that's going to happen. And, you know, we wish that it wouldn't. Yeah. But you have to understand it and why it's why it's happening. And, you know, we, we know that, you know, we're in a fortunate position to where we can come back. Other, other companies that, let's say, put all their, you know, money into this spot, their life savings, and don't have insurance for the buildings that were burnt down, they've lost everything. Yeah. And then the people that work there have lost their jobs. And in a lot of those a lot of the times those are independent, small mom and pop owned places. A lot of places in downtown, man. Like a lot of like a lot of these um businesses that provide other businesses uh with um wholesale options like the electronics or um even the fucking some of the flower district got in. I'm like, yo, <laughs> like what why are you why are you fucking up the flower shop? Yeah, <laughs> like this is. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen. Some of the shit is understandable, and some some of it is too much. And I think you know the 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 people that recognize what these instigators are doing when they call them out. I think that's that's amazing, and that still that that needs to happen. We need rooftop Koreans back, <laughs> like for real. Like, well, we that need... hey, but that but that is something that people are doing right now. No, they some, are. Some people are feeling like you know what. We're going to do what they did in 92. We're going to go stand on top of our building with rifles and protect our our. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and that's what they did la- in 92. Last night while listening on the, uh, what is it? I believe it was a clip from a police scanner. Um, they, There was, um, what is it, a thing about what an Asian guy who works at this place called Honeywell, and they saw they had a report of, of AK-47 being uh, pointed at people, but the cops were talking about at first, it was like, oh, we got to get there, we got to get there. And then they're like, oh, it's been confirmed that's the owner of Honeywell. And I'm like, even though it's a fucking illegal weapon in California right now, that man was doing the rooftop Korean move and said, you guys come in here, man, we're fucking blasting. And I don't blame it, man, because at this point, you know how like we as Californians that have been here, you know what I mean, for a while and have been born and raised here, like... These businesses are not going to come back. You know what I mean? Like not all of them. You yeah. think Target is going to fucking be like, "Hey, we're going to fucking put more locations in California?" Fuck no. Like you thought Target was like close. We had a bunch of them close now. Now all of a sudden you're going to go back and be like, "Hey, we're going to go to Target. It's a 3-hour drive. You want to go?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like there like there's a bunch of businesses that are going to be like, "Man, fuck this. We don't need California's help no more." Like look what they did to us. Yeah, like in downtown, they hit every Walgreens, every Rite Aid. They supply medication to some of our grandmas, tias, our moms, yeah. and fucking sometimes when we get sick. Yeah. Why are you destroying the place that even though I may not be hooked on fucking Vicodins and Xanax, I may just need cold medicine, but they're there for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you're going to fucking take that, dude? Oh, like, I need to get rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide because, you know, something like where you just, oh, it's right here. It's in the neighborhood. They hit every shop like that. Yeah, in some places they didn't even, like, take shit. They yeah. just, like... <laughs> <laughs> fucked it up. They just but, fucked it up. You know the, the the thing that's gonna cause controversy, and I had some I had some people, and there's a lot of people that ha- are feeling some type of way at the way I'm viewing things. And somebody was like, "Help get my friend, get out of fucking jail, sign the petition." I wrote back, "Fuck you." Like, see <laughs> mine, like for real, like see yeah. mine. As you said, you had somebody that did that to you. I, yeah. I I wrote that because I was like, "Hey man, shouldn't have been there looting in that fucking store, dude." Yeah. Like I, you know, someone asked me to donate to the. Uh, yeah, like, lawyer like, fund yeah, to like the lawyer protesters, and I'm like, I mean, if it was a real protester, I might be inclined to do that. But if it was just like you, someone like looting opportunistic, you can look it up. Be have, like, you no, can look uh, but, it but up. That's, but that's what I'm saying. And the charge is but, looting, and I'm just like, you want me to sign somebody, sign a petitioner to get somebody out of jail? They got charged with looting. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, well, fuck that. Let them stay in there. Hope they get the domestic terrorism charge too, because this is what you're doing at this point, setting shit on fire. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy times, man. Everybody got a, a hey, view who, on it for sure. Hey, hey, who's gonna pay for this though? For real though, like let's let's get down to that shit. Homie? Let's get yeah, let's get Always. down to the bottom of it, and, dude. And, and that's yeah, and, that, and that's the fucked up shit because our state was running on negative. Every state, pretty much, because all jobs had been at a standstill because of the pandemic. A lot of people totally, you know, 
we we haven't even heard any news yet on what the spike is going to be you know I'm from gonna... all, from all these people being so close in proximity yep. in 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 the situations that that have that have gone down in these protests I think the you hospital should refuse service to the people that are coming in from fucking looting and shit. Like, if you get injured looting... Yeah, but they're not going to know that. They're not... Who, how are they going to know that? <laughs> Check out their shoes, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you got... Oh, you got new shoes on. You oh, cannot shit. come in here. We will refuse hey, those, those Yeezys look like they're from the fucking... From the Adidas store in Santa Monica. Guess what? I can't sew up the stitches, dude. Dude, so... In E-Zone Hospital, if you got new shoes, you ain't coming in. You better come Fuck with some no. busted ass better shoes. Better come in there like with some shoes that <laughs> <laughs> they got open flaps. I'm like busted, just worn. Be like, you worn. need you need this urgent care, homie. I can tell. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's it's fucking crazy, man. We're yeah. we're we're you know we'll see what you know what that spike is because I mean think about it. There was protests around the nation. It wasn't just in a few places. Yeah. It was protests around the nation, and even the oh, UK wow. were protesting. I think it's twenty-two states. Oh no, no, sorry, no, nineteen states maybe that have requested assistance from National Guard. This is yeah. the one time we actually like request these guys. You know what I mean? Like, nothing because, ever gets that far because this this time because people are pissed off. People are fucking pissed off. You could blame all this this shit on on people that want to see you know our country unravel and they're definitely a part of of it in terms of instigating the things that are going on it within the protests and stuff like that but racism and police brutality sometimes go hand in hand and a lot of those times we see the result of it which is you know all these names there is a huge list of names that have been killed by the police where the investigation either stopped or the the you know the police got let go because of whatever reason even if they had like actual hard proof on what happened so many years of that when and when you look back on how far that goes and how long the list of those names are you can understand why people are pissed off you know what I mean? And it, it, it's just fucked up that those people who are pissed off and they they want their voices heard, you know, they they get infiltrated by these assholes that want to fucking fuck everything up and make even make that movement look bad by you know starting fucking riots and then you know eventually going into the looting and then when that happens the opportunists come out and say, well, fuck, all this crazy shit is happening. We can get away with this right now with all this distraction happening and it's it's fucked up and and we're seeing that right now in unprecedented times and that is why the national guards are fucking out here and 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 if people don't be careful with 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 what's going on you know we might see ourselves in 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 martial law we're almost there we're like right there we're like right there when you got curfews in each city and, and some of them are at 1 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. Yeah, man. You think about how close you fucking are. And if that happens, the way we live changes until. Until they stop. I mean, the other day they did, you know, first they said everyone, it, you know, another 8 p.m. curfew. And then they switched it up quick, S- fast. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And, and 5 they, p.m. And, you know, <laughs> and then they announced it was like 6 p.m. at 5.15. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. Think about it. Think about that, right? The, think about a month ago. They wanted us to quarantine, stay inside, only go outside for necessary shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now there is a fucking curfew. It went from that to a fucking curfew. Yeah. Except know? except we were we we listened when uh yeah, you know we when the it, we were told to stay home in yeah. quarantine. For this for this fucking whole thing it's like everybody's like, "Oh, fuck that. You can't tell me to stay inside." It's like, "Come on, man. Yeah, like, You're going to like we worked that hard to fucking have that one day of no. freedom and stuff to open up. And now not only is are the covid spikes probably going to go the fuck up if they if if it's really out there like that. <laughs> You know what I mean? But man, it's Yeah. Can can a motherfucker live? Can like, we damn. can we get some unity? <laughs> yeah, can we get some unity? I mean, if we would have stuck together for two more months at max of just quarantining, doing how we've been doing for the last three months, we could have really 
it's, had an edge you know, on this thing. It's hard to do that when something like this happens. Absolutely. In, in, during a pandemic at that, yeah. you know, the police should, should, you know, like the training is supposed to be different. Not a fucking knee on a motherfucker's neck. And 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 you know what's funny is that's something they trained because if there was a a, a footage there there was um a clip from some footage from uh, one of the news agencies where I, I believe it was uh, in Santa Monica on in the promenade when they started to loot there there was one MSNBC reporter there and these motherfuckers were looting the shop and then the sheriffs and and uh, the Santa Monica police came up and they start snatching motherfuckers up and they and two guys grabbed this one guy and boom immediately one of those guys got his knee on that guy's neck that guy was white he wasn't black but he had the knee on the neck that is something that these motherfuckers do it's they train yep. there's there's a training method right so you know first and foremost that's not a training method that's probably like legal in the book but it's something that they do and are taught. And are taught. And they need to fucking change that shit because that's what got him in trouble. The, the cameraman had to pan off of him real quick because it happened that fast. But that's the training that they all have on the low key. This is what they do on the low key. Like there's there's certain things they do and, and don't do on the camera. Yeah. And, and, and that was a don't do on the camera. But homie caught it right there. And it was the same position they had homie in. But homie got up off his fucking neck real quick when he realized that camera hit. You know what I mean? So when you think about that, man, the fuck shit has to stop. And there is that footage of the two cops. There was a cop that forcefully removed a, a fellow cop's knee from one of a protesters' neck. Like he, same, like same thing. Yeah. A cop went to that as the reflex move, as the go-to, right? right? And the other cop had to foot like got him. It was like, nah, dude. Like, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? I have seen that. That like when the cops have taken violent uh, reactions because at the, at the at the end of the day, man, they're human beings. I, I don't fucking blame them, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, at this, at this, I mean, not for like the knee on the neck thing, but I'm talking about like you know, like right now when they're out there, you made these guys work fucking continuous shift for four fucking days, throwing well, shit that, at them, well, agitate them. These motherfuckers have. Well, he, here's the other thing. Is that those guys don't have the proper training? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, if if somebody kept fucking with you the whole day, B, at the end of the fucking day or after an hour or two, I'm gonna sock somebody. Like, I'm gonna tell you, like, B, I'm gonna fuck this person up. They keep fucking with me. You know what I mean? Like, it's. But that's why, you know, with. But that's just a regular human like me. Now, imagine somebody who's like gone through training and you break through that barrier of training and it's like, come on, dude, stop throwing flaming bottles at us. We're just doing our fucking job. Like, and stopping you from fucking up the city. Like, some of them are going to fucking snap now more than ever, man. And it's like, but, I almost feel bad because it's like, damn. I hear that. You know, I hear that and I understand it for sure. You know, some of these folks look at, at cops like they're the enemy because of one cop's action. And, that is, and that is, that's the problem too. Facts. I mean, to quote Joe Rogan, fucking he said it in his, one of his last podcasts. He's, podcasts he said, we need the police. Like he he said, we need a police in the world. Like we don't need the bad police. We don't need the bad police. Yeah, no. but we need the police. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm like, this is he's key. He's 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 being leveled about it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, that's really what everybody should be like. Hey, you know what? This doesn't mean that like, but they should they should really do some reevaluations and reformat the system. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean we should throw it out the window. I have a question. Um, have you in amongst this movement against the police? I've seen, uh, I've seen the term "defund the police." Right. That, that seems to be because they have three billion dollar a three billion dollar fund apparently, like a budget, yeah. and it's like people are saying that it's unnecessary. And I get it. That may be a bit too much. That's probably for for when they they get sued. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that. I and was to thinking buy that. and to buy tech. 
technology for you know whatever the departments. Hey, department, and, department, no. yeah. You know what's and after this, like, come on, you're get, like you're not gonna change that budget. You guys fucked up all those police cars. You guys fucked up all those government buildings. And what do you think they're gonna do with that budget now? Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen because yeah. th- th- there was a lot of destruction to. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, hey, wait a great way to complain about the budget by making them spend it, and maybe they're get six next year. I mean, <laughs> really, realistically, that's not where the problem lies. The problem lies is 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 who they hire. Yeah. And then yep. when they hire those people, they're putting them in the wrong communities, like people that are unfamiliar with that particular police officer. And you can't expect them to just welcome someone in their community that they don't fucking know, that they don't have a connection with and no rapport, nothing. And yet you put that guy in that situation, you know, he's not going to know what the fuck to do. He's going to panic. He's going to do the wrong shit. And cause the whole fucking stir and you know they need to know where to put these certain officers who know how to speak with people who know how to fucking um communicate because yeah. a lot of these guys don't know how to fucking communicate neither yeah it's true you know what i mean like they 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 figured let me just be aggressive with you and you'll back down because i got this fucking badge you know so it's both sides these zones it's, it's not it's not one side or the other there's there's misunderstand misunderstandings on both sides but realistically they need a new way to teach the people that are that are out there with that badge on that are there to protect and serve us not harass and brutalize and profile 100 you know what i mean that is not the job yeah no and and that is that is why people are so so pissed off because that's what they feel has has been happening you know but unfortunately the good cops pay for that Yes. Yep. The good cops pay for that. And and you know, no one will hear them because of that particular reason. But there are good cops out there and they're going through the bullshit because of the guys who killed people like George Floyd and George Floyd and himself. The yeah. hypocrisy you know lies in this too, man. And like I look I'm 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 also thinking how many of these protesters if somebody went and not, I mean, the, let me let me use the proper term. When you, you don't loot a house, you burglarize a house. So if somebody were yeah. to burglarize their houses because they're like, hey, homie down the street got this shit, they're going to be the first ones to call the cops and ask for help. Because believe, I, California has tough-ass laws for guns. So a lot of people, if you have them, you're like a very small percentage out here now. Yeah. Or maybe you're not registered. Either or. But just imagine that. These are the same people that are getting this free stuff and just saying fuck 12. But like... The event, when letting somebody shows up burglarizing a house, you gonna fight off everybody, bro? You know what I'm saying? I was like, you're gonna do. That's what I'm getting. I'm like, you're gonna call for help to somebody. Yeah. And it's like, there's it. It has to be a better way. That's that's all I'm fucking looking. That's what I'm yeah. looking at. It like, yeah, that you're definitely right. There has to be a better way. But you know, again, a lot of these people that live in certain neighborhoods, they don't call the cops because the cops ain't gonna come. Yeah. In certain places, they're not gonna come quickly. And when they do come, they're going to come with a whole bunch of other cops, depending on where they're going. And then they're going to come aggressive before they even asked you what the problem is. That's yep. in certain places. That's not everywhere. Yep. You know, it's 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 not everywhere, but that is in certain places. And, and those are the people that are pissed off that, ne- that have to deal with that type of mentality. Hey, we called you to help us and you're fucking with us. Mm-hmm. You know, and that that sometimes is what happens. You know, and I, I think it's just different training skills and hiring different folks that, that have the capacity to not get emotional about the shit and deal with the shit in a way that helps people instead of put them in a position where they think you're against them. You know, that yeah. that's my opinion. They, they need to hire different people, yes. train them different, and uh, get, you know... Root out the racism. All new everything. and and the and the and the people with anger issues, because I mean you wouldn't give a person <laughs> that you know potentially that could go off on someone in the workplace if you knew that that there was a person like that who is volatile. No matter how good they are, you would discard them because all your other people are at risk because this guy is is volatile, and if yeah. he's not getting help. You definitely have to fucking get rid of him. If he's getting help, you give him a shot until 100. you know, until 
he he proves that he's not worthy of that, right? But realistically, if they're not getting help, then you're you know you and your staff or whatever are at risk when you have a person like that around because anything could fucking happen. You know, so some of these cops probably have some some issues. That's yeah. why they have therapists. And and you know, if you ain't catching that, or you're looking overlooking that, and you're letting these guys with those issues out on the street to deal with people, you know, when those people have a bad day, it's a fucking horrible day. And the ripple effect. Of and it. the ripple effect that happens. So again. The shit needs to be a little bit different. Yeah, man. <clears throat> but um, in all this, we urge that you stay safe. Stay safe. You know, be heard if you need to be heard. Yeah. And you should be. Yeah. Right? But <clears throat> be safe and don't be stupid. Right. And get high. Get high. <laughs> get and, high. You know, and, and, and I'll say this. I try to stay as informed as I possibly can without letting it weigh too heavy on my day. Because right. it's a it's a truly heavy thing that's happening. This, you know, yeah. like like to it's affecting every single one of us mentally. Historic times. Historic times. This is like like the beginning of a new era. Look, my wife put it in pers- perspective the other day, right? When all the shit was jumping off and the the guys go off on that SpaceX mission, right? Okay, that day took them eight minutes to get into orbit, apparently, right? Same amount of time it took for homie to lose his life with the knee on his neck. Ooh. You know, historic times. Oh, the dice. And Damn. that's the shit we're living in right now. Yeah. I feel jealous of those astronauts right now. <laughs> Boy, that they, was, let, they left the world at the perfect time, bro. Yeah, they, that was the meme that was going around for a minute. It was like... Uh, congratulations on the two ash now you know you know good choice you know <laughs> hey listen hey good you know they don't have this energy that everybody else has right now you know hey, yo how, they, how having they, 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 they were disconnected from all this yo this this crazy ass energy that's happening right I, now. i got a, i got a conspiracy for this oh, what shit. if they go up there and they encounter some shit and then they come back and they're like yo this and and it happens to be the you know the week of Fourth of July, you know what I mean? And then like we got Independence Day happening, bro. Because how much worse can it fucking get, bro? Like, then, like what if you have that fucking ship just heading to that fuck to the White House and shit? And then I take you know they got to call Will Smith and Will just go Smith boom. enters the room. <laughs> this is when E Zone's high has kicked in. Yes, and it is fucking. They, they awesome. went to space. How do you know there's not like some space thugs going like, on there? Like men some in black, space thugs. Real? Space thugs. Or, Space hey, thugs. Hey, homie. <laughs> hey, homie. Tell your peoples on your planet. <laughs> <laughs> on July 4th, we're going to throw a party on your ass. <laughs> what if, like, you know, they run into on the, the galaxy, is it, homie? It's the, team from, it's the team from Space Jam. <laughs> oh, it's the team from Space yeah. Jam. We're going to ball it up against your best players. God, get them. They do this for the Jordan documentary. <laughs> we came to challenge Jordan. Get your, get your team ready. We coming. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that would be... I mean, if... You don't know what to but, expect. But, but but speaking of UFOs, before they all this shit yeah. happened... But before this shit happened, yes, motherfuckers were starting to confirm shit and let you know, hey, the, the pilots, the Navy pilots here and the Air Force pilots there and in this country, hey, they saw this... Jumping off, and we've seen the footage, obviously. And it, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like saying, "Don't be surprised." Don't, yeah. If if <laughs> you see motherfucking like three of them just roll up to your city and just start taking motherfuckers, dude. I, I mean, there's so much shit that has happened. I mean, it's it's just the middle of the year now, but there's so much shit that has happened that like, would you have even fathomed? No, this a is a year Ju- ago. Somebody needs to stop playing Jumanji, hey, man. Listen, I listen. In all my years of traveling, I've never seen one. When I was in the air or on the ground, you know what I mean? Like, and you know, you tend to look for that shit when you're in open, you know, in an open fucking I don't country. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, listen, if, if, you, fun, if, if you're, if like you're in the, curious, in an airplane, you know, you'll look yeah. up. I'll oh, look. Yeah. Sh- I don't give a fuck. Start at stare at the life stars. Is, life is what it is, and I accept and embrace <laughs> you got it. for every minute of it, you right? Got, so, look, yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I've never seen. 
any of it. I've only ever heard of it and then, you know, seen it through other people's footage, right? But okay. one of my dogs sent me some footage and he lives he lives in uh, you know, Nevada somewhere. Okay. And he was in his backyard and he was filming something. I forget what he what he was trying to film, he said, but when he was filming in the direction Two fucking things came into sight, like and started doing crazy flight patterns, and they weren't like airplane type like it patterns. Had different movement, right? Different movements. Yeah. And uh, he never put it up on his Instagram. He got like fucking you know trippy about it. He was like, you know what? I'm, psh, I ain't putting that shit up. Yeah. I don't need no one. Asking He's close me to them questions. too. He's close to the base. Yeah. That happens. Yeah. So you know who. I've never seen it personally, but when you start seeing all this different footage start coming out and actual people that would normally deny saying, yeah, this is actually, you know, what we've seen. I've seen the and, Roswell files. And, and then you see, and then you see your homie's footage of what he's seen. Yeah. You know, and yeah. he's, then, and, 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 you know, it's a homie that doesn't tend to make up shit or even believe or deal with any of that stuff. Yeah. And, and, and you start to think, yeah, you know what? But I think all of us here have always thought, you know, yeah, there's probably something out there. One hundred. I know for 100%. a fact there's yeah. something yeah. out there. We know there's yeah. something out yeah. there. Yeah. Other people struggle with that fact. Yes. I've but, had. But I think we've always known, our generation, he, you're a little bit younger, but. I fucking believe in the motherfuckers but I think all to you, the T. But I think <laughs> a lot of your generation is more ex- accepting of it. Yeah. Than, than some of ours was. Because we're, some of us were skeptics. We're used to people hiding shit from us. That's what it is. So it's like whenever you see that there's an overwhelming amount of proof, like how many fucking shows based on aliens, how many like f- movies, like all that shit gets implemented. And then you're like, let me start looking into this shit. Like, yeah. I was able to, like, whenever they leaked out all those government files, I looked at the Roswell files when people when people were leaking them out. And yeah. the FBI files fucking say that there was a silver being that got retrieved i'm like what the fuck is a silver being you know what i mean i was like this hey, <laughs> a silver hey, being hey, yeah. hey I, I went to that base in roswell like i i was uh, when i was opening for the foo fighters they did this one they had a party where they flew people in from everywhere all over the country to this base and they did a show and i dj'd before they went on but they when we got when we flo- flew in uh they're like yeah we'll give you a tour oh okay cool and we i went into the hangar that house, the the ship, they, the ship, yeah, they retrieved, and but the ship's gone. Yes, you but, don't get to see the ship. But we walked. He when was the like, ship goes down, you better be ready. <laughs> so we're walking, and we start walking over there, and we're like, we're, we're asking questions because it's just like yeah. it just looks like a regular base, like just a regular like hangar, you know, like yeah. And um, I look over here, and I'm like, oh, what's that? They're like, oh, that uh, that uh, that house is. Uh, things that we can't talk about. Oh yeah, and I was like, okay. And he's like <laughs> classified. He's all classified it's... things are in there. Yeah, and I was like, so okay. That... He goes, he goes. Actually, if you were to walk two hundred feet more that way, they'd shoot you. They have every right to shoot you after that. I was like, they're gonna warn you first. Yeah, they're gonna. They and it, dude, he goes, go ahead. And so I walked up, and at one point, guard just goes with his assault rifle, and I was like, all right. About face. Let's go back to the hangar where we're playing. That shit was crazy. <laughs> that was one of the craziest shit. Like that's it, probably a part of the show, but probably real too. They'll give you a warning shot or some kind of kind of warning. <laughs> and they'll warn, warn you a third time if you try to keep going. That's out of there. Yeah. Oh man, done. Hey, these are you know that makes me wonder. These people probably looting are probably the same idiots they wanted to bum rush fucking Area Fifty One. <laughs> oh man! Isn't no. That that was early. I, wasn't I don't. That early I edition? don't think so. I don't think no. so. He's you're reaching right there, bro. <laughs> it's like, no, but, like you said, this year is the year they acknowledged aliens. Yeah. Like they put out, like they they said that these th- certain videos were not doctored in any way. That they were. It was admittance of what everyone has been trying to get the government to admit forever. Forever. Hey, listen. 2020 has been slapping us up and down, bro. Like we're a stepchild. You can get zombies in December. 
Because I always think, and dude, it's, we're, we're only like halfway there. Yeah, once COVID-2 and all these people that get infected out there with it, and then COVID-2 makes them into zombies, we're going to have the apocalypse. Okay, the now you're reaching twice. Yeah. You're, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Your reach is getting way long over there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy theories, we need bro. To make, yeah. we, need, we need to make TV shows off of this guy's fucking oh, theories man. over here. You d- dude, like a current affair, but like ease on Yeah, if they, don't, if they don't fucking burn Universal Studios, I might be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. It got close to CBS, boy. <laughs> Woo, boy, did they? They're they were right there on Fairfax. Mm-hmm. Like, Fuck, you know, man. They were, I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah. What they were doing, like, and I heard they didn't get Diamond, though. Nah, because he had thugs up he in there, He had thugs bro. there, right? Yeah, yeah. He had people protecting. Yeah. Yeah, you, that, that's what a lot of people are probably going to be doing tonight. Oh, yeah. And the rest, till this stuff calms down, is, you know, arming their, you know, arming, you know, getting sec- armed security and, and uh, looking over their buildings at night. Yeah. I, I would imagine that if, if those building owners were smart, they would probably... MP. Collectively get together and get a security company to watch the whole fucking block. Yeah, you know, but uh, not even those people have thought to you know unite in that way mm-hmm. to protect each other's you know block and businesses and stuff like that. You got to band together in that and say, you know what, let's let's all collectively put what we can together towards a security form firm to watch our fucking block. Because the police ain't paid to do that, and they will not do it. They'll let it burn. Yep. yep. They'll let it fucking burn. Because they're stretched so thin, they are not going to do a fucking thing about it. They're going to let those guys go because they're stretched. And that's what everybody has to consider. You know, that, That's why a lot of fuck shit is going on, because they're so stretched right now, and everybody knows it. Yeah. But uh, we just want to say, again, you know, prayers to the family of, of George Floyd, and rest in peace. Injustice for my man. Yeah, they should charge the other three guys immediately. Yes, and convict. You know, because it's all right there. It shouldn't even be a long, a long trial. But I mean, hey, listen, I can't be the judge of that. But I could only tell you from what has has been seen. The dude did. You know, the cop did what he did, and the other three looked at it and didn't try to stop him. They all yeah. actually sort of got into it. With them, maybe not as extensively as him, but they should all be charged too. What did the one other cop say? He was like, "Oh, you know, he was like, yo, he can't breathe." He's like, "Oh, he can breathe fine." Yeah, and yeah, he can breathe just fine, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah like what a fucking asshole. Yeah, they, you know, they showed no, no emotion. They were numb. They had no compassion to do it. So those three dudes need to get charged. Um, and I'll say, you know. Prayers to to the people whose buildings had gotten burned down. All those Absolutely. independent business owners, all the immigrants who who lost their buildings. Man, you know, we hope you come back. You know, for the corporations, they're gonna do fine. Their insurance are gonna cover that. And yeah, you fucked up their building, but you know, it they're just gives back. them a whole new budget to buy new shit and overcharge you for more so <laughs> and they probably even just might have the money to cover it just yeah like, Fuck for, it. yeah we made that the, the people who didn't have insurance on their buildings because they were independent you know those yeah. are the ones who are are going to feel it the most so yeah. you know prayers to them yeah man and uh, i'm sure that a bunch of organizations will pop up to donate to some of these people help those out you know and when we get those we'll pop them up here absolutely and uh man we want to thank everybody for listening, watching, and all that. You guys got any shout-outs? Make sure you guys watch uh, High and Hungry. Uh, there's a new episode coming up there. Weekly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, God, you know, dude. We get, you know, so make sure you guys look out on that. Uh, the website, www.highandhungry.shop or flavorsbyezone.com. There's new merch. Yeah. There's a snack section on there, too. Rare shit. You know what I mean? So it's been going pretty good. It's been going, going pretty great. Yeah, man, that's cool. I like the new uh, merch you've been putting for together for the High and Hungry. Oh yeah, I, I, tight. I, I stay busy, you know. Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching episodes of High and Hungry. I'm on as well as In High Fidelity. You can catch the ones with Jonathan Davis, uh, Shavo, uh, Bobo from Cypress Hill, Word. and Steph from the Almighty Deftones. Uh, directed and put together by the by the main man Ray, and uh, beats by Roz, dude. Look at him over there. <laughs> the Beat Bandit. The Beat Bandit. There he is. 
Raz dude, Skinny Pablo. And uh, yeah, check me out on Mixcloud and Twitch.com. I'm going to be doing a lot of sets. Uh, I was planning on doing this week. I had this whole plan I was going to do, but I'm coming with some other shit in the next like couple weeks. Word up. Yeah. Look, stay informed, stay, stay safe. Stay informed. Stay informed, stay safe. Um, you know, make the right choices, whatever you think they are, but with rationality and all that. Um, but remember that there's still a pandemic. Yes. You know, let's, a lot of people threw caution to the wind, um, <laughs> you know, because they're so passionate about what happened. And, and the need for justice. Yeah. But remember that that's happening. So make sure you stay safe and, uh, you know, find some calm, find some unity, and uh, stay smoking. We got some smoke boxes coming for you next month that you can uh, ease back and uh, smoke to and, and, and chill out. And we got some new music coming. So um, just uh, cool out. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doctor's orders. Smoke too and uh, relax. And uh, let's be as one. Yeah. Right. That's uh, Dr. Green Thumb Podcast out. Oh.